Okay, first I want to show you this, guys. This is the um, the deck lid or the uh, storage compartment that goes on the Sparter, the Spider RT 2020 and up model. Um, this is how it looks. Right now it's removed, of course, without saying from the vehicle itself. Uh, when I first purchased my Spider, I was I had no information and no clue as to what I was buying. All I know is that I live in the Houston area and driving around in the Houston area on a motorcycle, which I've had for the past several decades, I don't want to sound too old, but uh, at least, you know, a couple of decades, uh, Kawasaki Ninjas and maybe even scooters. I, I've had two, two or three Kawasaki Ninjas and two or three scooters, uh, both two wheel vehicles. And I just like the motorcycle open air feel. Um, I went to a Harley Davidson dealership last year and I was intending to buy a used motorcycle to go to the gym with uh, so that I won't have to crank up my car and just go to the gym. Uh, I wanted something with space, with storage space so I could put my duffel bag and whatnot. Or it didn't have to have space. I mean, I was looking for a cheap motorcycle to begin with. A uh, couple grand and under. I mean, it was definitely over. Uh, I was intending to spend about two or $3,000 on a used motorcycle pretty cheap you know any, anything it could have been anything could have been a scooter who knows but anyway I ended up walking out of the uh, Harley Davidson well it's a Harley Davidson slash something else a dealership they sell used and new motorcycles so anyway I ended up walking out of the dealership with a $30,000 um, it's not called a trike because uh, the two wheels are in the front but a $30,000 motorcycle a cruiser uh, this version here is more uh, designed for comfort not so much for, uh, you know, like for people who like riding motorcycles like I did, you know, that rugged, that sleek appearance. This is more the uh, Cadillac version of the Can-Am Spiders. They sell various versions. Anyway, I don't know too much about Spiders and I'm not going to pretend to. But what I do know is that I have been riding this for the past year. Very little, but I do enjoy it. Uh, I've bought a cover that replaces this unit once you remove this you have a bare area in the back that looks nasty so i went to uh online and i think i'm thinking it was pierre at canm spiders accessories.com where i bought this from i could be wrong i, I don't want to give out the wrong shout out but there's two sources that i buy my canm accessories from the other one i cannot recall and i feel bad but um who knows it could have been from them i don't i don't know it might not even be can -Am. Oh, you know what? I bought several accessories, so it's two It's two sources. Anyway, I'm confused right now. I bought a hitch, I bought a cover, and I also bought something else. Anyway, let's go take a look at the Canon Spider. But this here is the unit that goes right behind the, the rider seat. This is for the passenger. And this is the, um, the backrest. This is the topic of today's subject. Once you remove that backrest slash slash trunk slash storage you're kind of left with this look here i was a little disappointed to find out that the demographic of these bikes are people that are like senior citizens and a lot older i don't want to disrespect anybody but that's that's just what i've seen and i don't fall into that category so i feel kind of awkward um when i tell people i have this because I don't identify with that crowd. No disrespect, of course. But uh, I bought this cover here to give it a sleeper look. And it does. Let me back up. It gives it a sleeker look. Let me uncover the entire bike. I've had this bike for over a year now. And I still don't have 3,000 miles on it yet. Let me uncover it all. I'm doing this on one hand. I want you guys to get a look of the bike. It looks a lot better without that trunk. Looks a lot more sleeker. I made the mistake and didn't know what color this was. This was. And I bought the wrong color by accident. It kind of pissed me off, but the color's not a bad color. Don't get me wrong. It just doesn't match with this color. Uh, I think this is charcoal gray and I think this is graphite, graphite, whatever. So the color does not match, but this is what I'm 
showing you guys. Anyway, uh, it does give it a sleeker look. But this is the topic of today's discussion. Let me go ahead and get that original tote. Since I removed this trunk, I'm left with the void of having to use the side carriage, the side storage uh, compartments, these here, which I hardly ever use. I generally use the trunk that was placed back there, but I want a better look on this bike. I don't want to fall into the same demographic that most uh, of these uh, riders have. I mean, most, I mean, most can -Am owners are. Anyway, here's what I did. This is a complete unit right here. This is a complete unit. I had to make some slight modifications because if you use this storage compartment right here, things are gonna rattle, fall out very easily. There's nothing to contain small items in this storage compartment, nor in the other one, because you have one on each side, right? Oh, I got a scratch right there. Oh no, it's just a reflection, oh well. So what I did was instead of just tossing stuff in here like change keys or small items, I decided to put something in there and this is what I decided to put. Of course, this would not fit unless I made some modifications. And as you can see, I trimmed this edge here, this edge here, and on the back end, I trimmed one corner piece. This is what a complete unit looks like. I bought these at Northern Tool. So I trim this here, this is coming off, this is coming off, and on the back end, the side that goes in first, I trimmed a small little portion from here, straight across and off. So this little three, two and a half inch piece, I trimmed off, as you can see by the unit that I trimmed off, right? Those little three modifications allow you to more efficiently store stuff in your cannabis spider. Now this thing would not sit flush. You cannot put it in like this, flat. You have to kind of tilt it like this to where it fits that angle. See that See that angle right there? Uh, in either case, I wanted to show you guys that this unit, I think, it's, it's a three pack unit. They sell at Northern Tool. The dimensions are 14 and a quarter, no, 14 and three quarters by seven and a quarter by eight inches deep so remember this guys it's going to be 14 and three quarters long ways and it's going to be seven and a quarter this way i think and then eight inches deep those are the dimensions don't get the wrong ones guys anyway so what i did after trimming this now you're able to fit this gently see this it wouldn't go in before let me nice and tight because the angle that i cut here allows it to fit under that little cut right there on both ends this little corner piece on the back end would not allow me to push it back so now you got this little storage and you're able to safely close it see i'm almost thinking about putting one on the other side so now i've never used these side compartments but now i can see myself since i removed the trunk i'm able to use these now and throw keys uh sunglasses and whatnot this is a uh an uncut version but of course let me open this up again there we go all right guys so go ahead and spend right now they're on special today's date is september the 3rd 2023 right now instead of spending 39 dollars at northern tool for a three pack they're 19 dollars but you must show them the online price on the phone or on your on, on your on your device look up online at northerntool.com and show them the online price. They always honor the online price, even though the store will show you a different price. If you find a cheaper price online at Northern Tool, they will honor it. So right now they're $19.99 instead of $39.99, okay? Three things, trim both ends of this and the back corner, not this one here, but on the back side of this, and you're able to put this in and out. Look at this. And it's nice and tight, it doesn't roll because it is form fitted after the, the cuts to fit nice and tight in there. So now you're able to toss in your keys and whatnot, probably squeeze some stuff down there. Anyway, that concludes this video. For people who have a 2020 and up Can-Am Spider RT or RT Limited. Better look, huh?